Hello friends, welcome to the series of lectures on digital marketing and e-commerce. <coughs> uh, I am Dr. Suchita Vishwakarma, Assistant Professor with Department of Management, School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Students, in today's lecture, I am going to talk about content marketing and content creation process. In all my previous lectures, we have talked a lot about digital marketing. We have understood that digital marketing is basically a uh, a method of marketing which is done on an online mode that means where the digital technologies are used and uh, obviously you all have studied has, has already studied marketing and you know that how important it is to communicate to people communication not only with your customers but also collaborating with your uh, various stakeholders, distributors, suppliers with them also communication is very very important. So uh, obviously uh, whenever any organization is communicating with their suppliers, distributors, customers then obviously they need to first understand that what is the kind of information or kind of content that they want to share with the people. Now obviously you understand that, that the effectiveness of promotions is only because of the content the kind of the kind of content that has been shared with the with the customers. If the customers are not able to relate any kind of content uh, with themselves then the, the effectiveness of that particular promotion may go down. This uh, concept of content marketing is not only important for, for the digital uh, marketing process but is also very very was also very very relevant for the traditional marketing methods also. Even in case of advertising, even in case of sales promotion, even in case of any kind of uh, any ki any method of of uh, uh, of uh, promotions in the traditional marketing concept, also there also it is very important to understand that what is the content which is being shared. And uh, for example, if uh, you want to come up with uh, with an advertising campaign, and if you want to uh, to share information with your customers related to your product, and that what that you want to do through a print media, for example, you want to uh, do an advertisement on any of the newspaper, or if you want to do it any on any particular magazine for your customers, then your targeted customers, then you must understand that who your specific customers are. You must also understand that what is what are their uh, interest preferences and then only you should create your content because uh, for example if there is uh, any person who is from the rural background and there are uh, other people who are from the urban background the interest the behavior the purchase behavior the interest the things that they would be uh, i mean more concerned about will be will differ for both the two type of uh, two type of uh, groups that means the for the urban group and the rural group so if an organization wants to cater to urban group they must understand that what is that uh, that is of interest to the urban group and if they are uh, wanting to offer something to the rural group they must also understand that what are the concerns what are the interest areas of the rural group of customers. So, this is the reason that we want to understand content marketing in detail today and this is the reason that we would understand that how content uh, creation process is conducted. So, let us proceed further and now let us first understand the definition of content marketing. So, content marketing is basically a strategic approach focused on creating and distributing valuable and relevant and consistent content with the customers to attract and re and retain a clearly defined audience. Now what, uh, what does this mean over here let us understand it, it uh, specifically. Uh, for example, if an organization has two set of customers they ask uh, I mean they uh, I mean for any organization they actually uh, the objective of a uh, marketing campaign is to attract new customers and to retain the existing customers. Now, uh, the, there is a lot of difference between existing customers and the new customers that new customers that I am talking about is basically means the prospects that means who are who have already yet not purchased my product or may be in the in the stage of decision making towards my product. So, uh, the two set of customers would require different kind of informations. The person who has already used my product is knowing uh, what my product is 
knows the quality, the quantity, the kind, uh, the the information related to it. But for a new customer, it is more of relationship. I mean, uh, for uh, the old customer, it is more of relationship building. While for new customer, it is more of uh, trust uh, that they want to have. They want to understand that whether whether the company is trustworthy or not, whether the promises will be met or not, whether the price is uh, competitive or not, whether the product is competitive or not. So that means the kind of information that I need to share with both set of customer is going to be different. And so. Uh, so, if uh, in case of digital marketing or be it the traditional marketing approach also, if I want to share informations, then my my uh, informations that I uh, create for both of them should be very very different. The approach, the way the way in which I am uh, contacting them is should also be different. The content should also be different, and so th uh, then only that will make uh, make uh, it uh, i mean realistic then only it will uh, help them understand the about uh, and have more of trust and then only they will convert get converted into a loyal customer so so basically the aim of content marketing is to provide profitable customers and uh, and the profitable customers are basically those who take action towards the towards my product that means who uh, are purchasing the products regularly from my organization and who are uh, who are sharing information related my related to my my product to their friends families so that means they are basically acting as brand ambassadors for my for my um, organization so uh, to be very very specific uh, the content over here makes a lot of importance and relevance now what is what do we mean by content let us understand uh, it in more detail. The content on the digital platform can be many, uh, can be of many types. It could be ebooks. It could be information related to events. It could be white papers. It could be guest post interviews, and then uh, it could be any any video. It could be even presentations in the form of slide shares. It could be in the form of webinar or hangout informations. It could be even the podcast that we have discussed earlier. It could be social updates on the various social media platforms. It could be blo blogging activities also by various bloggers. It could be discussion themes also like the like what happens in the Quora and many many more. And then it could be in the form of small micro uh, messages also in the form of tweets on the various social media platforms or otherwise also. Now over here you need to understand that, uh, that an organization does not decides or does not take takes only one of the approaches for conducting the digital marketing practice. They adopt most of or rather all of them uh, all of the methods to, uh, to, uh, to be present on the digital platform. And obviously, we have understood in all our previous classes that there are various kinds of methods on which the through which the uh, digital marketing process can be done. That means we had talked about the email marketing, we had talked about the Instagram, LinkedIn, social media marketing, we had also talked about mobile marketing and, and, and everything. And now we are in a state that we understand that the content for all of them needs to be different because there are applications which provide us to write more, there are few applications which uh, which allows us to write more, there are few other applications which uh, which allows us to write in a small uh, uh, small contents only. For example, the tweet uh, the tweet uh, social media, there are certain uh, certain I mean uh, web, uh, certain sites which allows us to share only pictures and photographs for example in instagram there are certain blog posting websites we can we, where we can write in detail so there are different different requisition, uh, requisitions and there are certain different different options which are allowed by uh, by these so whenever an organization is is basically thinking of content marketing they must take into consideration about all these aspects all the different kinds of contents which can be prepared and then they, uh, and then only they should start about designing the content. Now uh, let us have a glimpse of that why content is important. According to the various studies done in the past, it has been seen that the content marketing brings in three times as many leads as traditional marketing and cost 62 percent uh, less. That means content marketing on digital platform is not only effective, but is helping more of uh, I mean uh, lead conversions also. 
it has also been seen it has also been seen by uh, small and medium business enterprises that those enterprise uh, those small and medium enterprise who use content marketing get 126% more leads than those who don't that means this is again one uh, one option which is very much uh, effective for even the smaller organizations then 61% uh, of the online purchases are direct and results of a customer re, uh, reading a blog that means uh, there are a lot of chances of people who read blog regularly uh, they are uh, more lucrated and gets attracted towards the product and there are more chances of them purchasing the product then uh, we have uh, it has also been studied that the companies that publish 16 plus blog posts per month get approximately 3.5 times more traffic than those who uh, does the blog posting uh, less than 4 or even fewer uh, fewer than that. So, that means posting of relevant and good uh, quality of content may be through post, uh, through blogs, through various other kind of post is much more effective and beneficial to, no, uh, to uh, everyone that means to the, to the company obviously and for the customers as well. So, let us have a look on the goals of the content marketing now. The content marketing has various kinds of goals, brand awareness, lead generation, engagement. So, let us understand all of them one by one. Brand awareness is one of the goals of, of uh, organization where they basically aim at increasing uh, the, uh, the reach to the people, where reach to the audience and where they want to share information rela related to their product, service or even the organization itself. That means, they want to be known by people. So, once the people know them, then only they will actually uh, start liking and commenting and sharing informations related to the to the uh, product or service. So, awareness is something which is the prima face, face which is very, very important for organization because unless and until people know you, know what are your offerings, know what are the values that you hold, people will not be able to advocate to you. The second goal of content marketing is lead generation, where the organization aims to create content in such a manner that that people who are already knowing you get lucrated and get and uh, gets interested in their products. That people uh, huh, gets interested in uh, your uh, in your product and and starts checking out that what we what are the product offerings that you have or what are the service offerings that you have. So basically, lead generation is uh, the uh, the content the content in this case should be such that it basically. Uh, compels the, the audience to, uh, to get attracted towards your products and services. Then the content for engagement marketing is uh, engagement is basically uh, meant for uh, keeping your customers busy and keeping your customers uh, forcing them to come to your website and again and again and checking on not only uh, checking on the, on the various products and services, but also keeping them feel related to your uh, web to your website or your or your organization that means the uh, the posts the posts in this case uh, in this case are usually related to small quizzes or maybe discussions that would help you and uh, that would help understand that what are the key features of the product or what are the usps of the pro of the organization or what is the practices which are adopted by the organization and such kind of things then obviously the another uh, another uh, goal could be uh, in, uh, increasing the sales over here the base the content uh, the content should be somewhat uh, which forces the uh, the audience or the or the uh, visitors to uh, take certain actions it could be in the form of uh, agreeing to subscriptions or uh, or um, taking a purchase or or something like this so bas basically it is more of call to action kind of uh, content then lead nurturing content is basically those uh, where uh, any individual who has uh, checked out your website, who has seen your website, but is still not able to take a decision. So basically over here the content should be such that the, uh, the audience is able to develop a kind of trust and has um, I mean uh, feels that the product that they would purchase in future, if they purchase in future would be of relevance to them. So again this would be different from the earlier ones.
then customer retention and loyalty again this is very uh, very important because for any organization it is important to not only to acquire new customers but also to retain the existing ones because uh, retaining is existing ones will will uh, is not is obviously less expensive in comparison to attracting new customers and also helps uh, helps uh, build a more of customer lifetime value also and uh, and these uh, existing loyal customers act as uh, i mean brand ambassadors for your and uh, can become a testimony for the new customers as well then customer in, uh, in evangelism also this is also very uh, very important where basically uh, you uh, focus that uh, the content uh, the content that is shared with you is being shared by the customers also they feel it feel that it is of in, it is of use and uh, and importance to them and then upselling and cross selling that means you do not want to restrict your customers to purchase one product only you want them to purchase products related to many different categories that of product that you are offering so these are the various goals uh, these are the various goals that an organization wants to achieve through the through proper effective content marketing so for all of them uh, they are these are the various kind of content marketing mix that means in all of them you can see uh, in the previous slide also i had talked about the various kind of content over here i am again showing it in a more elaborate manner so that you can see and understand and and also segregate and uh, segregate the kind of video, the kind of content that would be required in different different stages for example this uh, set of uh, content is usually the red uh, set of content is basically shared by uh, usually used used for people uh, by the organizations who want to create more of brand awareness so for brand awareness uh, the kind of uh, contents that are shared is includes the articles the blog post assessment infographics podcast the uh, white papers the videos press releases tips uh, in industry webinars and so so this these these set of uh, contents basically helps uh, people know that what are your values and what is uh, what is uh, basically uh, that uh, that is uh, guiding you your uh, your philosophies your offerings such kind of things then the second kind of content that is the training video assessment solution video framework educational work worksheets basically these kind of content would help uh, the organization engage the customers that means these are the various kind of i mean uh, uh, the event that has happened or maybe assessment or small quiz or maybe a feedback uh, or uh, uh, some something this would basically help help you uh, i mean uh, help the help the uh, organization to ensure that the people are getting engaged they are checking the website regularly they are coming up they are seeing the different pages and and exploring more about you then the third set of uh, set of uh, i mean content that is the buying product guides the evaluating the tools the product webinars case studies testimonies data sheet free trials comparison with product marketing virtual classrooms all these basically helps you take decisions that means such kind of content if shared by an organization would basically help an audience or a customer to take decision whether in favor or not favor of the organization that means if in case i am looking forward for a product i want to purchase any product i would be wanting to have uh, informations which can help me evaluate that whether the product that i am uh, looking for is good or not or whether uh, what is uh, what is the comparison with the other with the other kind of products and uh, how do i go ahead with it or whether i would uh, what are the facilities or features would be which would be added uh, added value additions to the to the product so these basically would help the organ uh, help the individual that means the customer take better decisions and uh, such content will be beneficial for them while the fourth category of content which includes the return on investment tools return on investment case studies detailed assessments product demos tailored workshop customer sales engage uh, enablement customer executive presentations these are basically required by uh, required for those customers who have made a purchase or rather who are basically uh, this uh, this particular section of of uh, of uh, content is basically uh, required by 
can be not can be required by the customers also and even by the competitors also that means for example if i am into a particular industry and i want to know that what is the uh, return of investment of of my co uh, competitor or what ha what uh, how can i uh, be assured that the that the startup that or the business the or the venture that i am having uh, can have a sufficient kind of uh, returns uh, so, probably such kind of uh, content if shared by any organization will help me assess that uh, what uh, whether the, the product or even the venture is into profit or not and tailored workshop. So, these basically will, will help the, uh, the organization ensure that they are, uh, they are able to convert their customers into loyal customers. So, customer executive presentation that means customizing the presentations for each and every client and then having tailored workshops for them in terms of installation or, or their particular specific requisitions. So, these, so all these content you over here you can see that they are all meant for different specific, uh, specific kind of people uh, during the different stage of their uh, uh, purchase process. So, moving ahead let us now talk about the content creation process, how contents are, are uh, developed. So, basically the first step of content creation is research followed by idea, placement, creation, publish and promote. So, the first step basically means uh, the research. Now, what do we mean by research? Research is basically a concept where an organization before designing the content must understand that what is the kind of uh, audience that they have or what, uh, what is the kind of audience that they want to target and accordingly do a research and the research could be related to the, uh, the choice and preferences or the interest area of the, of the customers that they, are ta they want to target or the targeted audience. Uh, it could be also related to the keywords that they want to use because obviously we have discussed in our previous lectures that uh, the uses of keywords helps uh, increase the SEO. So, that is again kind of research and they can do or they can even research on what are the kind of uh, contents which are shared by the competitors. So, basically content basically would help understand that what is the, what is the goal that I want to, uh, to attain through, uh, through content marketing, what, uh, what is the art, uh, who is the audience, what are their interest and then align strategies according to, to uh, it. So, basically over here you need to understand that uh, researching is very, very important because the research process will, will only help me gather lot of information, help me uh, gather information related to what is the kind of content that I should create and accordingly, uh, accordingly obviously the content, uh, content development will completely depend upon. Then the second, uh, then the second step of content creation is create which basically means that uh, before uh, that uh, now I am in a stage since I have already done a research now I am in a stage where I uh, want to develop a content for myself and uh, content uh, for my uh, targeted audience. So, content, uh, so this in this particular stage uh, I would try to collect information that I want to, uh, to inform to my customers it could be related to the product service, it could be related to brand, it could be related to logistic service, production process, it could be related to to any uh, any of the uh, USPs that I I may have the USPs of the of the I mean uh, the promoters or whatever kind of thing. So over here you need to understand that uh, during the stage of creation you need to be very very imaginative. You need to be very very genuine. You need to be very very creative because and uh, and obviously uh, because the usage of words the usage of audios videos pictures all together will make a lot of difference so uh, you need to understand that what is the way which will make it more effective by uh, and uh, you w through which uh, which will be very very i mean um, because uh, we had uh, discussed earlier also that in digital marketing the the time period which is spent by uh, by an audience or a visitor is only 1 to 2 seconds so uh, the content should be such uh, that it engages the audience within 1 to 2 second because then only he will get uh, switched to another uh, i mean uh, get uh, to other page of uh, of uh, yours he'll start checking other pages of yours otherwise he will uh, there are chances that the person will go to any other website. So, at the stage of content creation you should be very, very uh, uh, I mean creative. 
Then the next stage is revise which basically means that uh, once you have created your content you must take lot of uh, edit, you must take into consideration lot of editing because editing would help you refine your content you may even go to uh, to people who you can show it share it with uh, with various kinds of people maybe experts maybe other people also to have a feedback for for understanding that what is their understanding level and which will help you edit all those parts or remove all those parts which are not uh, not of relevance to people and and create more of uh, more of a competitive and more of a unique content which is uh, short which is simple which is uh, easy and easily understandable and so and then obviously uh, you need to optimize as well the fourth step which is very very important is optimize so uh, so basically optimizing of your content is very important and we have understood earlier also that optimizing of content can be done through use of various methods like keyword meta tags then uh, headlines and so uh, such kind of things so over here you need to understand that um, that whatever content that you are going to share will be obviously uh, crawled by uh, by the search engine and if they find uh, i mean uh, important keywords which are relevant for the for the people then only your searchability will enhance so optimizing your content is again very important so these are the various content creation tools there are various other content creation tools also which may uh, help you then there are lot of people third party organizations also who are doing this uh, this for you and uh, the they are various uh, these tools like for example the jiffy the vidyard anchor make my persona survey monkey these are the various kinds of platforms which help you uh, create different kind of content so jiffy is basically one, one platform which allows you to create lot of animation animated content while vidyard is basically for uh, video hosting uh, it is video hosting platform where you can basically uh, i mean uh, create lot of uh, video contents good quality video contents and anchoring is ba is basically a podcasting tool where basically uh, where you can record uh, record uh, i mean uh, various kinds of audios and which you can telecast later on then make my persona is basically for creating your own websites and uh, and such kind of things survey monkey is again another uh, another kind of tool which which you can use for collecting feedback from people in the form of uh, in the form of uh, forms or um, surveys so these are the various kind of contents which effectively if used by organization at different stages of their lifetime different stages of their buying of the buying process of the customers will make a lot of sense and will help the not only the organizations uh, increase their profitability but will also help the customers understand the the purpose of the existence of the organization and will also help them increase uh, uh, the purchases as well so with this i end up my session over here and for detailed understanding you may go to these references thank you